Add or subtract by first simplifying each radical and then combining any like radicals. Assume that all variables represent positive numbers. The square root of 3x squared minus 5 square root of 12x squared plus 2 square root of 12x squared. Now the instructions tell us to add or subtract by first simplifying each radical. Now here's the idea. These two radicals have the same radicands, what we're taking the square root of. 12x squared and 12x squared. That makes these two radicals like each other. Uh, so for this particular problem, we are allowed to combine these two these two terms, these two radical terms, we can combine them. Because they have the same common factor, look, if we were to take the square root of 12x squared and factor it out, 12x squared, one time, here's this negative 5, here's this positive 2. What we're doing is we're using factoring to remove a common factor of square root of 12x squared. When we do this with their uh, coefficients, the number parts that are out in front of the radicals, we would put a plus sign and then this first radical symbol. The reason we did this, the reason these are combinable is because they have the same radicand, 12x squared. Now, uh, just for this one part, in here, uh, if I owe somebody five dollars, but I only have two to pay them back, we still end up owing three dollars to that person. So that's how we simplify the numbers inside the parentheses. We're carrying this first term down. We haven't done anything with this first term. It's just continuing down alongside until we figure this out. Now, plus a negative three times square root of negative uh, square root of 12x squared is the same as subtracting a positive square root of 3 12x squared. So here's where we are at this point. We combined the two, we did start this problem, this st problem started with two like radicals so we went ahead and added them together. Okay, now at this point we're left with two unlike radicals because 3x squared is unlike it's different from 12x squared so here's the part where the instructions are saying to first simplify you simplify radicals to see if they'll end up simplifying into like radicals at this point these are two unlike radicals so to simplify a radical what we do is we look for perfect squares this x squared is a perfect square I'm gonna rearrange it and bring perfect squares to the left I'm factoring this radicand. It's already factored, really, but I'm moving anything with an exponent of 1 to the right. And, you know, factors in the radicand. There's a factor of 3 and a factor of x squared. We rearrange them to bring the perfect squares to the left. And then, since square root has an index of 2, every time there's a match between the index and a power and the factored radicand, the base of that radicand, of, of this factor, this perfect factor, comes out. We're actually, this is an application of the product rule for radicals. Uh, so when there's a match between the index of 2, which is a, there, it's an invisible index, vin, invisible number for square root, when it's a match with the a power on a factored radicand, here's a match between the 2 and the, and the 2, one, the base of this guy comes out. That's the square root of a perfect square is one of uh, is the base of that exponent of two inside. Now this one exponent of one on the three is less than the index of two so this three cannot come out. It stays underneath the radical symbol. Now we're going to do the same thing you know we finish with the first term. I'm going to continue now on the second term. This three is here times everything that might come out of this radicand as we evaluate perfect squares. Now if if we start doing factor tree there's a four times 3 inside that 12 and you know that 4 is a perfect square so we're going to rearrange if I fact if I continue factoring this guy uh, I'm going to rewrite it 
so that we see two, 4 is the same as 2 squared. There's 2 times 2 is 2 squared. I'm going to rearrange that and put this x squared right next to it. Because of the commutative property, multiplication allows me to rearrange. And look, I'm putting this 3 to the far right side because it's only got an exponent of 1. This guy is not going to be able to come out, this 3. But just like we did before, using the product rule, when the index matches a power, this base of the inside index uh, of the inside radicand factor comes out. We have another match between the index and the power on this x, so an x comes out. But this 1 is less than the index of 2. This 3 cannot come out from under the radical symbol. So we leave it as square root of 3. Now this 3 has been here waiting since the couple of steps after the first step. It's going to times anything that's, that came out from under the radicand, from simplifying the radicand. So we're going to go 3 times 2 is 6. Here's an x times the square root of 3. Here's this first term now that we simplified, x square root of 3. Here's the minus sign that was between them. Now, let me move all this up. See this guy? We're just going to move him up. We need a little more room. x square root of 3 minus 6x square root of 3. These are like radicals now. They're like radical terms because they both have um, 3 as a radicand and they both have the index of 2, which is square root. So we're going to do a common factor again. If we treat this like a binomial, these guys have a common factor of really x square root of 3, x square root of 3. I'm going to express this as times 1. Anything times 1 is itself. There's an invisible 1 right there. Here's what we would have. If we take x square root of 3 out to the right as a common factor, what would be left is this 1 minus 6. And we were able to, now, you know, any two constants are combinable with addition or subtraction. This is like saying, I have a dollar, but I borrow $6 from someone. I'm going to end up owing $5 to this person if I pay them back the one that I have. And then here's the common factors that we took out of each term. Negative 5 times x squared to 3. We can, we're can allowed to remove the parentheses and label it as negative 5x square root of 3. This should be our fully simplified uh, expression, and we come up and look for it in the set of answer choices and make our proper selection.